was a pretty uh, pretty exciting show out there. The audience seemed to uh, really enjoy it, and you guys seemed to be having a lot of fun. Well, the audience were the best thing, you know, they were great. Well, the guys in the band and the audience, you know, it was really great. It was really nice to get an opportunity to come back and play, you know, because it's 
been so difficult for us to do that. Really? It's pretty much like that all over. We don't really get booked at jazz festivals usually because the music falls into in all the slots, you know, between it, just like. That's right. So it, it, it's very difficult trying to, trying to do this and get any kind of... Um, Larger. Yeah, like, you know, even, even when we play places uh, for the first time, usually it's very difficult for us to get booked anywhere. It's only when it's only because we've got such a good, you know, like a loyal following, and I, th which I have to thank all of those people, you know, come, you know, and have been coming for years. Because if it wasn't for them, you know, we'd never even be able to come back again. So hopefully, when we play somewhere the first time, when we come back again the second time, because the reaction was good, which it, obviously we were amazed, you know. So it makes it a little bit easier for us to call uh, whoever it is and get an opportunity to come back. But getting that first shot is the hardest thing. Yeah. Well, this is a good festival because they don't restrict themselves to just the jazz, jazz <laughs> artists per se. It, it covers a lot of different music. Yeah. Well, it's nice for us to get an opportunity. Yeah. It's great. Um, you, you've said that uh, what you're playing is, uh, is usually what you're thinking is uh, several years ahead of what you're playing, waiting for the hands to catch up. Is that still true? Oh, you mean in the from a practicing point of view. Well, from your conception. Uh, yeah, usually things that I'm thinking about now or things that I'm working on in my head now, they don't come out, you know, they it seem, but I think, I think that seems this normal. I would think it was, you know, but I don't know. Okay. Um, what I was gonna say is uh, at Wardenclyffe Tower, there's uh, a connection with, with Nikola Tesla. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the appeal there? You're both misunderstood geniuses? No, 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 not at all. He was the genius. <laughs> I'm just an imbecile. No. But he, um, no, it was a friend of mine who was really into uh, Nikola Tesla and introduced me to him. And, he, and I was just like everybody else. You know, I was totally ignorant of all the things that he'd done. And it was a real revelation for me to find out that even the fact that I play an electric instrument that he was responsible for, you know, in, in one way. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I was amazed that someone could do so much for the world and nobody knows who it is, you know, they all think it's Edison, all, the, all these other guys who did it, but it's not, you know. So that was interesting. Well, and I was just fascinated and I wrote a tune um, inspired by him, reading about him, which was the track Wardenclyffe Tower. And then um, I just decided to call, you know, name the album after that particular track. There was no other reason, you know. It wasn't an album concept as such, I never really use an album concept. I just usually pick a title of one of the tunes and that's it. Yeah. What, uh, what exactly was the Wardenclyffe Tower? It was, um, well, basically, t it's really a long story, but to cut it really short, is he wanted to uh, give electricity away and he wanted to do it like to transmit electricity like radio waves mm -hmm. so that you just have a receiver at your house, no wires or anything, and it would be um, unbelievably cheap, if not nothing. Really? And uh, I guess there was you can imagine what kind of problems he would have trying to do that. It's like somebody uh, coming when up with a car that doesn't need gas. Yeah, they just get demolished right away, and that's what happened, I guess. There was uh, there's two guys conspired, basically, to silence it, you know. And, and they did. They were successful. In it. But it didn't stop him from doing all the stuff he did. Like uh, the hydro power plant at, at um, Niagara Falls was his design. I mean, he did a lot of wonderful things. And he was really into uh, finding alternative means of energy, you know, without polluting the whole environment, which is al almost too late now, you Something know. So more and more everybody, everybody's going to need a new set of lungs before they reach 30 years old, you know. It's sad, not so much for old people or older guys like me, but for kids, you know, I always, I always get worried about thinking, what the hell have we left them with, excuse me. You can say uh, have we left them with to sort out, you know, the, the, the whole world seems to be getting into a huge mess, you know. I'm not a politician, so I'll just keep playing. And well, you're, contribu you're contributing a lot of beauty uh, in, in your way that I think is very valuable. Well, I, I, well, thank you very much, but I think the only thing you can do is to try and do whatever it is that you do to the best of your ability. Whether that's classified as being any good by anybody else is really not the point. If I, f if I feel like I'm trying hard, then I can feel okay about it. You know? Even if someone thinks it's horrendous, you know, it's... What's, uh, what's, what's coming up for you uh, next? Um, well, we start a new album right away, actually. Right after this tour, we're going back to, um, going back to, uh, to LA and doing a, doing a new record mm -hmm. with this band.
Uh, your new bass player, Schooly, is fantastic. Yeah, he's amazing. I'm really happy. I think the band, I think the guys, you know, Gary, Schooly, and Steve are really fantastic. I really have a great time, you know. I almost want to just feel like writing the tunes, hire another guitar player, and sit out in the audience. You know? You're so uh, incredibly modest. I, I never understand this. Uh, I think it's good because maybe that's why you push so hard uh, to do the things you do. But, well, I uh, fall down a lot of manholes, that's for sure. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're the, way, the way musicians, especially guitar players, but even people who play other instruments, I know bass players who, uh, you know, are very inspired by what you do. Well, there's a lot of wonderful, there's so many wonderful uh, musicians out there. You know, it's, it's almost kind of, sometimes I feel like it's pointless, you know, I just, it's only my love of music that keeps me going. Sometimes I'll hear something that I think it's so wonderful that I just think, well, why am I doing this, you know, because... Where, where are you getting inspiration these days? Um, you know, do you, do you listen? Well, really, just from life, I think, just from living. You know, I think it's, I think music, all music, well, most for me anyway, is geographical. It's so much to do with what you learned, what you grew up with as a, as a child. Because it's like an emotional thing. It's not just a studious thing. You know, some people they just sit down and figure something out or learn how to do something parrot fashion. You know, they they just play. Um, what they've read basically or what they've learned from someone else and it's I mean I don't really do that you know I just try and draw everything that I am or everything I want to do from the music from my experiences as a some sort of a human you know well I think that there's a there's a, a tendency for people to confuse the technique and the physical plane uh, with the music itself whereas that's that's just carrying the music out the music is coming from inside you yeah, I'd be quite happy not to have to play, you know, not to play. I mean, the, an instrument to me, any kind of instrument, I feel like I was trapped with the wrong instrument in a way. I don't really like guitar that much. I mean, I love to hear other people play it, but I feel like I was essentially uh, trapped by the instrument. But, but after all, it is only an instrument. That's what that word means. You know, it's just a tool, like a screwdriver, a tornavis or whatever you call it. Exactly, that's so, what I mean. Like people, people make too much... Uh on, on the actual instrument itself and I think so because to me all the musicians or the musicians that I like they all play different instruments you know exactly. but I've known a lot of guys who only listen to guitar you know I think they miss something when you do that no I my, my listening interests are very similar in in terms of guitar I like to hear somebody who's singing with it and uh, something that's closer to a saxophone but as far as I'm concerned you're the only guy who can do that on guitar I don't know well thanks anyway <laughs> Okay, well, that's fine.